What happens if you're arrested for OUI and your case is going to be heard in the Ayer District Court? I'm Michael Delsignori, a Massachusetts OUI lawyer. I handle many cases out of the Ayer District Court. Um, first thing you need to know is your first court date, you'll be arraigned. Um, a lot of people think this court date, the first court date might be the trial. Instead, it's your arraignment, you're notified of the charges, you're given a copy of the police report. Now, many of these departments uh, that, ha that go to Ayer District Court uh, will have some video of you. So you want to make sure that you get that preserved because uh, often that video can be helpful in the case. After the arraignment, the case is put down for a pretrial conference. Again, it's not a trial. The second court date is a chance to get all the information uh, from the government. And then after the pretrial, in most OUIs, we can put the cases right down for trial uh, and, and move them through the, the process. I like to move the cases quickly in air. The court appreciates that. Um, you'll notice when you look at the list of cases on next to it, they have the age of the case. So I try to get the cases to trial as quickly as possible, uh, especially in the Air District Court. Uh, it's appreciated by the, uh, the judge there and, and the, the other judges in that court. Um, so if you have a case in uh, Air District Court, uh, feel free to contact me. I'll explain all the, the whole process to you, what you need to do to get your license back, if you refused a breath test, there is a way to appeal the refusal. I've been very successful in getting uh, people their license back on breath test refusals. Um, it's a technical process where you have to go to the RMV in Boston, then you have to file a civil case against the registry in the Air District Court. If your case is going to go to trial, it usually will go up to the second session. That's where they do jury trials. You can also do a bench trial. So difference between a bench and a jury trial, bench trial, the judge is going to decide whether you're guilty or not guilty. Um, in a jury trial, the judge decides what evidence the jury hears. Judge always imposes any sentence, but in a jury trial, the judge, the jury is going to decide the ultimate issue of whether uh, you're guilty or not guilty, whether the government's proven the case beyond a reasonable doubt. Um, some people, it, it depends on the case. It's always a tough call whether to do a trial with a judge or jury. Um, the judges are extremely uh, uh, fair in Massachusetts. I, I've done a lot of bench trials in particular. Um, on, on OUI cases. So it depends on the case whether you're going to go bench or jury, um, but in many cases um, we'll, we'll, dis we'll discuss this decision and make sure that you understand it completely uh, and understand your options and your rights for a bench versus a jury trial. Typically what makes for a better uh, bench trial is if it's just one, if you're basically saying well, if everything the officer says is true, it's still not enough for beyond a reasonable doubt. That's sort of your prototypical bench trial. If, you have, if you're going to testify and get into, well, I only had uh, two or three drinks, um, I didn't feel as I was under the influence of alcohol, I had a knee injury, and that explains why I didn't do so well in the field test. That type of case, generally we'd rather do that in front of a jury um, than a judge. So typically on a bench trial, the client doesn't testify where in a jury trial, while well, many clients don't testify, they're more likely to testify in a jury trial. I've had many clients testify in front of juries, I'd say very few um, in bench trials. So that's sort of your basic difference uh, between the two types of trials. Some of the other things that um, you want to understand about an OUI is just because the officer, he's going to say you failed the field sobriety test. Well, there's a lot of things that's not, that are not in the report that as a lawyer that has studied the field t training of the officer, I know that you did well and I can use that in your defense. So when you read the report, most people think it's sort of worse than it is. Uh, understand that everything you did right, that wasn't put in the report. So when I go over the report with people, often they'll, they'll view the case differently and see how it'll, it'll play out in court and what I'll be able to get the officer to admit to and what the strong points of the case are. So if you're arrested for OUI and AIR, feel free to contact me. I've handled a lot of cases out of this court. I'd be happy to help you out, schedule an appointment. Michael Del Signore, Massachusetts OUI lawyer.